working with FM8 again. Let's take a look at something a little bit different. Let's see if we can design a sound that's somewhat reminiscent of an oboe. So far we've looked at what happens when we introduce feedback to the carrier frequency and we've looked at the modulator being at both the same frequency as the carrier and we've looked at it being an octave higher than the carrier with a 2 to 1 ratio. Let's look at the opposite right now which is going to the carrier and having it be at a different ratio, a higher ratio from the uh, from the, the modulator. So in this case a 4 to 1 relationship so the carrier is set now to two octaves above the fundamental frequency where we started. So uh, the the first harmonic, of course, is the same same pitch, same frequency. The second is an octave above that. The third is an octave and a fifth. Then we've got an extra fourth on top of that, which brings us to two octaves above. So uh, let's turn on our E operator, and let's hear the sound with nothing added and slowly bring in some of the E modulator. Kind of oboe-like. Maybe a little bit more like the sound of a reed that you would get on a pipe organ. Now let's dig into your little bit of knowledge you have already about FM and let's play with a little bit of uh, feedback and see if we can add a little bit more grit to the sound, a little bit more uh, overtone content. like that. And just for fun, let's see what happens if we add a little feedback to the modulator. Not really quite as appealing, so I'm going to leave that off. Don't be afraid to explore an FM, though. There's a lot of possibilities, and as we get deeper into this, you'll start to think about expanding into even more than just a basic operator in carrier. We're really at the root of it just dealing with sine waves, and it's amazing the wide range of palette options you can get with just two sine waves.